Hello, in this lesson we're going to solve equations involving algebraic fractions. So we begin with question A, where we have 28 divided by 2x is equal to 4. To solve this equation, we need to find one single value of x. But right now, x is the denominator of a fraction. So we need to move this division of x to the other side. We do this by doing the opposite of divide, which is times. So we times both sides by 2x. And this multiplication and division will cancel to make 1. So we have 1 lot of 28 is equal to 4 multiplied by 2x, which is 8x. And now we can divide both sides by 8. 8 divided by 8 will cancel to make 1. So 28 divided by 8 is equal to x. And we can simplify this fraction to make 14 over 4 or 7 over 2, which is 3.5. So the question A, x is equal to 3.5. Question B. Do you want to try and work out question B? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question B, we have 18 over 3y is equal to 9. We begin by moving the division of 3y to the other side. We do this by multiplying both sides by 3y. And these will cancel. So we have 18 is equal to 9 times 3, which is 27y. We can divide both sides by 27, and these will cancel. So y will equal 18 divided by 27, which simplifies to make 2 thirds. OK, let's try question C. So with question C, we're going to move the a plus 5 to the other side, which we do by multiplying both sides by a plus 5, because anything divided by itself will make 1. So these will cancel. So we have 24 is equal to 3 lots of a plus 5. Now we could expand the brackets out, but we could also divide both sides by 3, because 3 is a factor of 24. So we don't need to expand the brackets out. The threes will cancel. So we have 8 is equal to a plus 5. We can take away 5 from both sides. And these will cancel. So we have 3 is equal to a. For our last question, question D. Do you want to try this question yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? OK. So we begin like we have for the other questions. We move this division to the other side by multiplying both sides by w minus 2. So these will cancel. So we have w plus 12 is equal to 3 lots of w minus 2. I'm going to expand the brackets out this time. So we have w plus 12 is equal to 3w minus 6. At the end of the solution, I want W on its own. So I'm going to move this W from this side to the other side by taking W away. So we have 12 will equal 3W take away 1W, which is 2W minus 6. We can add 6 to both sides. And these will cancel. So we have 12 plus 6, which is 18, which is 2W. Finally, we'll divide both sides by 2. And these will cancel. So W will equal 9. OK, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.